सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू एमआरआई प्रोस्टेट विद कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑन जी वन पॉइंट फाइव टेस्ला सिस्टम इज ब्रीवो एम आर थ्री डबल फाइव सो पेशेंट पोजिशन इज फीट फर्स्ट यू कैन सेट इन बॉडी एरे टू थ्री और थ्री फोर वॉट एवर यू लाइक टू डू पेशेंट पोजिशन इज फीट फर्स्ट स्कैन इज डन इन बॉडी एरे कॉल ओके Now we are on the entry desk. First of all, you have to fill the patient data description prostate. From here, you have to select protocol. I have kept my protocol in pelvis. Select start exam. First of all, we will do it plain scan. Then after we will do contrast study. Accept. First of all, you have to take triplane localizer. Without localizer, you can't do anything. So here we will check. Express body array is connected, and you have to select two three because I have given position in body array two three inbuilt coil. So first of all, three point localizer. Select save scan. Without localizer, you can't do anything. Whenever you are going to do MRI, before scanning, always you have to take proper history, check sonography reports, check blood reports, check serum creatinine, because you are going to give IV contrast too. Okay, your sonography of the patient suggesting. and large prostate and psa level is 21 so doctor has suggested to do mri prostate so here is the first localizer now i am just relocalizing it for the better and proper position to scan further okay again Relocalizing save scan. <coughs> Prostate is similar to female pelvis scan. Okay, so there is no no need to worry. Click on the calibration. Select the second localizer. Okay, all. Now you have to calibrate the localizer scan. Whenever you are doing male pelvis or prostate, you have to always take first of all sagittal T2 weighted sequence. Then after after getting sag T2, afterwards you have to plan axils and coronal on sagittal sequence. Okay, so here I am taking first of all sag T2. Double click open. If you want sag, you have to plan on coronal and axils. No need to touch sagittal window. Okay. Enlarge the image. First of all, you have to adjust your FOV. Then after you have to tilt or angulate your other sequence position. Okay. You have to adjust in. coronal and axils here is 4 mm thickness and free spacing you can reduce spacing whatever you want here i am taking only 20 images 20 images 4 mm thickness three two spacing 20 images okay keep the side band anteriorly to reduce some artifacts click on the shame before scanning you have to ask patient not nor to not give any moment so you can scan properly so here first of all i will scan sagittal t2 after getting t2 i will show you other plannings and positions save and run After sag, I will plan coronal stir. 
so i will simply double click open coronal if you want coronal you have to plan on sagittal and axials so i will click on axial coronal sequence you have to plan oblique this is true coronal plane okay vertical after getting sag i will show you what is the angulation for prostate this is vertical lines okay now wait until sag t2 get display so here is the sag t2 weighted sequence now simply click on the sag box select this sequence and enter okay sag t2 is in the sag box now what you have to do this is urinary bladder this is prostate and this is urethra this is prostatic urethra so you have to this is our vertical this is our vertical line okay you have to first of all adjust in a true coronal plane then simply you have to oblique this you have to give angle along this urethra this urethral angle you have to give this is vertical oblique you can say my one slice will pass from this urethra so this is the angulation for coronal sequence for prostate okay you can see this my one slice is passing from this urethra you have to adjust this angle this is vertical oblique you can say so this is the planning coronal planning for prostate okay got it this is vertical you can say vertical oblique okay adjust the shim save and start the scan i have given name over your coronal star oblique now coronal t1 double click open copy from your you have to copy t1 with star except same plan has been copied for coronal okay so coronal t1 also planned now you have to plan axial my protocol is sag t2 coronal star coronal t1 axial fat set t2 axial t2 axial dwi and in three plane t1 weighted post contrast okay now i will plan axial t2 double click on axial t2 you want axial you have to plan on sag and coronal so i have to click on sag male pelvis all the plan you should do on sag that's why i have taken sagittal sequence first because proper anatomy has been shown on this sagittal sequence okay now first of all you have to keep a true axial plane adjust the fov this is horizontal lines okay now you have to horizontal oblique along the urethra coronal was vertical oblique along the urethra this is horizontal oblique like this you can see this urethral angle this is plan for axial it is very simple keep in mind is reference lines for prostatic urethra spinster this is prostatic urethra okay so this is the axial oblique okay got it this is the axial plan axial for prostate save 
simply double click on fed t2 weighted copy from here copy from excel t2 select except same plan has been copied from here adjust the timing so this was the planning for excel i will take for excel diffusion i will take for full pelvis not only prostate so this is the plan for whole pelvis excel dwi because diffusion is very less time consuming that's why i'm taking full pelvis now wait until this much sequence gets scan now you have to excel you have to copy with excel post contrast sequence double click open copy with excel okay this is post contrast sequences save coronal open double click open copy with coronals coronal also ready save keep the machine on auto scan search double click open copy with search very simple and very easy first of all you have to scan all the routine sequences then after pause the machine after dwi and give iv contrast then start this three sequences so this is the protocol and planning for prostate mri you can see this coronal stir here might be a prostatic tumor prostate is already enlarged okay now wait until all the sequence get display i will show you all routine sequences then after i will show you how to do give contrast and how to scan post contrast sequences up till wait now i will show you one by one all sequences have been scanned first of all this is star coronal star you can see full pelvis this is coronal t1 oblique this is axial T2 Excel T2 and Excel FS T2 this is Excel FS T2 last this is diffusion now i will scan contrast in three planes now i will call attendant to take his IV line. Then we will give intravenous contrast. After giving intravenous contrast, immediately I will start the sequences. Okay, you can wait for five minutes also. Now IV contrast has been given. You have to click on the sequence and scan. post contrast three sequence search coronal and axial fat set first of all i mean i am taking coronal t1 then search then axial this is coronal post contrast this is axial now this is sag t1 post contrast 